While the simple forward Euler time discretization approach in the uh, linear uh, solver was sufficient, we'd like to use a higher order time discretization to match our higher order spatial discretization. And in this case, we'll use the classical Runge-Kutta fourth order uh, method. This is an explicit method, but because it is a uh, higher order method, it has um, faster convergence rate. So in order to take advantage of this, we need to essentially express our semi-discrete system as some function of our current uh, coefficient variables. So our Runge kind of consists of four steps. Um, when we, each of these steps we can think of as a, a trial step. So in this first step, we look at what the uh, expected change in our coefficients would be across our full time step. And then we use this value and the successive value to estimate what the new potential coefficient variables would be. And we repeat this several times such that we're able to get four terms each a potential trial step. And then the new solution coefficients are calculated from the old coefficient plus a higher order weight of each of the four trial steps. It's worth noting that this particular form of the Runge-Kutta fourth order can be modified to a uh, low memory storage version if memory is an issue, but for the sake of simplicity, it was presented out in full here. So now let's apply our uh, Runge-Kutta discretization to our semi-discrete system to achieve a fully discretized system and then be able to use each of our pieces of machinery to put together an arbitrary high-order discontinuous Galerkin solver.